stress, don't need to touch my knees Man, it's Gucci, Betty, season This beat is what I need What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, keeping it in line with the Mizuno reviews that I've been doing. So my great friends over at Mizuno sent me their Wave Neo collection. And so I did a review on the Wave Neo Ultras, which you need to check out, but check it out after this video. So the shoe that I'm going to review with you today is like a continuation with that collection. Okay, so the last video was the Mizuno Wave Neo Ultra, right? This one is the Mizuno Wave Neo Wind. Now, if you've been paying even just a little bit of attention to the running shoe industry, you'll know that Mizuno is making waves, baby. I'm very excited to review this shoe today because I just got a chance to do a test drive in them and I really, really love how they feel, you know, and I'm pretty sure that you will too. The Mizuno Wave Neo Wind is just a nice, clean look all around. It has the undyed, all around sock-like upper, okay? And again, this is made from recycled materials. And again, this is just a part of Mizuno's sustainability efforts. So the idea behind the undyed upper is to just minimize the water that would be used to dye the shoe anyway. I have seen on some ads where it says it's a eight millimeter drop, but it's actually a 12 millimeter drop. So the Mizuno Wave Neo Wind has two foams on the midsole. There's the Mizuno Wave Energy Light, which is made from castor bean oil. And then there's the white algae-based Mizuno Bloom Energy Foam, all right? And then you have the G3 Rubber Outsole, all right? Which provides amazing traction, I have to say. Also, sandwiched between the two foams is the Mizuno Wave Plate, which I absolutely love. It helps guide the stride. So the Wave Plate is made from PBAX Renew, Polymer, which is a bio-based thermoplastic, which is also derived from castor beans. It's mindful mouths. This shoe uh, not only makes a powerful statement visually, but it also makes a powerful statement viscerally. You feel me? It actually feels good to run in this shoe, inside and out. You understand? So um, that's why I really dig this shoe. Now the price point for this shoe is $220. It may be out of the way for some people, but again, like with all of the features and the technology that goes into the shoe, you know, it's well worth it for me, all right? One thing I will say and what I have heard uh, is that, you know, if you have really narrow feet, depending on how tight you lace the shoe up, it may bunch up in the middle there. You know, so I've heard this from a few people. So again, if you have really narrow feet, that may be a problem. Um, it doesn't cause an issue with performance, however, is just aesthetically not as pleasing when it bunches up there. I haven't heard of anyone, you know, saying that they have any problems with the performance of the shoe. I guess they just hate how it looks. Okay. So if you have narrow feet, then you may just want to just try a thicker sock, you know, if you want to, you know, um, that may be a solution for you. Well, other than that though, this knitted upper really feels good. Um, it's really breezy. There's a really nice padding around the ankle as well. I really love that. Um, the pull tab as well helps with getting the shoe on because again, it is a sock like upper. So that snug, secure feel. Um, and then the pull tab helps with that. I, I love the colorway as well. The undyed white and the blue, it really looks nice. Oh, also, no matter where you are in the world right now, if you're an aspiring runner or if you're an elite runner, go over to Instagram and me and my brother, we started our URC running club. So United Runners Club on IG. Uh, we welcome all runners. You know, our crew is growing and we just did a photo shoot with Mizuno. So 
I'm gonna show you guys those pictures. They'll be up whenever they're ready. So, and at that photo shoot, we got a chance to get some behind the scenes on some of the products that they have coming. And I do have to say, it's some really exciting stuff, man. Also, the insole is made from the Mizuno Bloom Energy Foam as well, which is the algae-based foam, uh, which is pretty cool. So just the sustainability efforts alone, and just the forward thinking of how to create a cleaner planet and lessen your carbon footprint is just something that I really, really respect about Mizuno. So I really enjoyed running in this shoe. Uh, the wave plate and the Mizuno Energy Light Foam along with the Mizuno Bloom Energy Foam provides an amazing energy feedback, a very comfortable ride. And again, the wave plate helps guide the stride. And it's just a really great springy feel that you get in this shoe. So this is definitely a shoe I'm looking forward to running in. And it's a sexy shoe, man. This is a sexy shoe. I really like the look of this shoe. I like the design of this shoe. Everything about this shoe, I really love. So I gave you the rundown on the shoe. Now it's up to you to go out and get you a pair. Comment below, let us know how it goes. And these are definitely high power approved. Either way, I'm not going to hold you guys too much longer. I wanted to get to the point, show you the specs on the shoe, let you know how they perform. They're high power approved. I really love them in terms of the look, in terms of the feel. And don't be scared to comment below. Let me know what you think of the video. You know, give me some tips, give me some ideas so I can continue to bring you the great content, you know? So thank you all for watching. And as always, remember to keep going higher.